Okay, you're standing next to a giant, stinky pile of trash. You look at it, you look at a picture of a volcano, and you think, what if we just threw this into a volcano? Problem solved, right? Well, let's break it down. First, we make a lot of trash. Every year, humans produce over 2 billion tons of it. That's enough to build a mountain made of banana peels that would reach the clouds. So we need a pretty big volcano. But here's the first snag. There are only about 1,350 potentially active volcanoes on the entire planet, and most of them are nowhere near us. Imagine trying to drive a garbage truck up the side of a steep, rocky volcano. You'd be dodging falling rocks, bubbling lava, and toxic smoke clouds. It's not exactly a smooth ride, but let's say you make it. You back up the truck and dump everything in. It's trash versus lava. And this is where science gets explosive. Literally, a volcano's lava lake is insanely hot, over a thousand degrees Celsius. But it's also thick and heavy. When you drop tons of cooler, wet trash onto it, the water instantly turns to steam and gets trapped. The pressure builds and builds until kaboom! The volcano doesn't just swallow the trash, it violently spits it right back out, along with lava bombs and acid gas. It would be a popcorn machine of flaming garbage. Definitely a case of boom equals bad. And even if it didn't explode, burning all that stuff is a disaster. Think of everything in your trash can. Plastics, batteries, old cleaning chemicals. Burning them in an open volcano would release a massive cloud of toxic acidic air. This pollution would poison the land and water for miles around, harming wildlife and ecosystems. You wouldn't just be left with ash, but with melted, hazardous gunk that's still dangerous. So yeah, as a solution, it's not the best idea. Okay, maybe don't dump your juice box into a lava lake? 